Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. We are now in the 21st week in ordinary time, and today we celebrate the feast of Saint Augustine, Bishop and Doctor of the Church, Doctor of Grace, the very famous saint because of his chaotic life and restless heart and mind until he experienced the great divine and the great love of God. Through his words, you have made me for yourselves, O Lord, and my heart is restless until it rests in you. St. Augustine, my dear brothers and sisters, reminds us of our role and purpose as we live. As we embrace God's goodness in our lives, our readings of today reminds us about our role in one another. It is fundamental for us in our spiritual journey to have one another, for us to guide, to share, and to live in the spirit of goodness. As we heard in the first reading of today, we give thanks to God always for all of you, a connection of God's people through prayers, our duty to remember in our prayers our brothers and sisters. St. Augustine was the very example of this because of his behavior attitude through his mother, St. Monica. She played for how many? She prayed for how many years for his conversion? Si Santa Monica po ay maraming taon na nanalangin para kay San Agustin para siya'y mabago sa kanyang buhay. St. Monica was played a great role in the life of St. Augustine. So therefore, mother, brothers and sisters, praying for one another and giving thanks to God bring us in the virtue of humility and sincerity of our heart. Ito po yung ipinapaalala sa atin sa pagdarasal natin sa ating sarili at sa ating kapwa-tao. Dinadala tayo nito sa ating kababaang loob at totoong sarili at totoong ginagampanan bilang naglalakbay sa mundong ibabaw na ito. Sa pagtanggap natin sa mga biyaya ng Diyos na ating tinatanggap na totoo, tayo ay nagiging daluyan ng tunay na kababaang loob na ibinibigay sa atin at ipinapakilala natin ng lubos ang Diyos sa pamagitan nito. My dear brothers and sisters, we believe that every blessing or gift entrusted to us is one way of reaching the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God, and of course, gaining our holiness of life. And of course, so my dear brothers and sisters, by receiving this gift that the Lord entrusted to us, ito po ay dapat makita sa ating buhay at totoong naranasan natin na ibinibigay natin sa iba. It must be visible and to be experienced of others, both external and internal. Iyong pagtanggap ng biyaya, hindi lang paglabas, kundi panloob sa katauhan. Ito ang tinanggap ni San Agustin sa pamagitan ng panalangin ng kanyang ina. Hindi lang sa panlabas, bagkos sa panloob na buhay, binago ang kanyang kaisipan, ang kanyang damdamin patungo sa ating Panginoon. 
And our gospel today, mother, brothers, and sisters, Jesus showing us about his rash criticism on the Pharisees and scribes. Because the identity of the Pharisees and the scribes, they were considered as holy ones. Alam po natin yung mga ugali ng mga Pharisee at mga scriba, magaling sila. Sila ay expert in the law. Sila ay magaling sa mga rituals. But only for external, but not for the deep inside in their hearts. Ito yung inaayaw ni Jesus sa kanila. That is why in our gospel today, we heard a lot of O's, hypocrites, para sa kanila. May their brothers and sisters reminds us also for our action and our behavior every day. Though we are celebrating the Eucharist, we are praying every day, but the challenge is how it works in our hearts, deep inside of ourselves. Ito ba ay totoo o hindi? Jesus told them, O oh, to you, you hypocrites, and even the blind guides, the very reason why Jesus told this because not making in good direction, hindi sila totoong nag-guide patungo sa ating Panginoon. But they lack the, the kingdom of heaven before men. Gumagawa sila ng opposite way, mother, brothers, and sisters. Ito po yung hamon para sa atin. Sa ating pang-araw-araw ng buhay, we are also a direction for other people. This is our role. This is our purpose. By praying together, seeing by other, we are directing other people to pray also like us. Ito po yung pinapaalala sa atin. Sa ginagawa nating kabutihan, nagdadala tayo patungo sa Diyos. Kaya po inaalala po natin ni San Agustin ngayon, alam po natin na siya ay maraming ginawang kamalian laban sa Panginoon. But through his mother, he directed his life to the kingdom of God, to be truly the servant of God, truly the follower of Jesus. And we too, mother, brothers and sisters, this is our role every day. Aaminin din po natin, may masama din po sa atin. Pero kung we experience God's love, the divine in us, mababago ito. Ang ating kaisipan, ang ating damdamin, at ito ang magdadala sa atin patungo sa ating Panginoon. We are here together with Jesus. We are here to bring others to Jesus. As St. Augustine would say in his rule, written, given to the congregation, the main purpose for you having coming together is to live harmoniously with one mind in one heart intent upon God. So my dear brothers and sisters, we are invited. We gathered together. We lived together. We moved together. In this movement, our presence today is toward to Him. Sana ito pong ating paglalakbay na sama-sama ay hindi mauwi sa walang kabuluhan. Ito ang ipinapalala sa atin ni San Agustin ngayon. Sama-sama tayong naglalakbay patungo sa kaharian ng Diyos. So let us live in the Spirit of God, not in the Spirit of the world. Let us live, let us move with virtues, not for our own or self-proclaimed standards. We are constant, reminded constantly by God today to be true in receiving God's blessings. 
as we continue our celebration today, my dear brothers and sisters, we walk together, we move together, we live together in the Spirit of God. And it is true for all of us. Sana mga kapatid, wala po itong kahipokrituhan sa buhay natin. We are here by our own self, claiming that the Lord is with us, not hypocrites. Hindi po tayo mga hipokrito, hindi po dapat tayong mamuhay na may dual citizens, dalawang mukha. Sa harap ng Diyos mabait, paglabas, nagiging masama. And this is the challenge for all of us today. We live, we journey as one community, one family of God, intent upon God. St. Augustine, pray for us.